Scorpio. What's in here? And that's why they're mad. Somebody's definitely mad. They're sad. They have anxiety. They may even be dealing with some health issues, minor. Okay. Back may be hurting. Neck may be tight. Okay. <laughs> uh, somebody's going through it. All right. You see this here? This is Libra's part two spread, but I can't even get to it. I can't even get to it. Your energy has been calling on me for days. And I've just been ignoring it. I've just been ignoring it, but I feel like that is your energy. This is for Scorpios and or eighth house placements. I've been ignoring it. So that lets me know that you're ignoring somebody. Mm -hmm. You're ignoring somebody here, all right? We left off with Libra. Um, only you have the power. Emphasis on the word power. All right, only you have the power to make someone drop to their knees, okay, lay on their back, all right? And uh, that's why they're mad, all right? Uh, <laughs> you got someone feeling some type of way. Now, because your energy also is a mirror that lets me know, not only have the tables have turned to, to a pentacles energy, but you may have felt some way. Someone had you feeling a way, and now they're getting that karma. They they picked the wrong they picked the wrong time, okay. And or time has just caught up with them. We have Saturn retrograded. We are uh, coming out of a Mercury retrograde. There's just so many downloads that I have for you, Scorpio. So, as always, if you're interested in the extended, that'll be available on YouTube members. The link will be in the description box below. I don't even think I'm going to extend this one. That's how much energy i just been holding on. I keep holding on, holding, holding, holding. I wasted all my tears. Yeah, some of y'all wasted some years. Some of y'all thought y'all wasted them tears. But karma has come through with the come through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, I'm getting Aquarius energy strongly, and it's not just because we had a, a full moon in Aquarius. I'm really, truly getting Aquarius energy. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it, but I just feel like you are silent. I feel like you are ignoring someone. I feel like you're in your own energy. You are definitely giving someone, um, somebody is feeling Scorpio energy firsthand. All right, this ain't no secondhand smoke, okay? Somebody may be smoking. All right, uh, this ain't none of that, all right? This is none of that they are. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Messages for Scorpio. Damn, you, have, you got someone bowing down here. Somebody's realizing your power. Your silence. But very deadly. Truly, truly. You know, I shuffle my cards. I know I'm talking, but I have to get these downloads out because I feel like I've been holding on to this energy. But I also feel like this is symbolic for this person, these people that you may have been involved with in the past. Um... Or now if they're left in the dust here, what, whatever the case is for you, you've been holding on to this energy or they have. It's just been building up in their bodies. Um, and it, it's almost like their bodies are attacking them at this time. All right. Um, eighth house, Scorpio energy, you guys definitely rule um, psychological. And in this case, considering you are co-ruled by Mars, it's a psychological warfare. Um, we also are dealing, I'm getting Cancerian energy. Yeah, I'm getting Cancerian energy. Cancer's reading was about they pray and crave unconditional love, receive it, and then regret. Oh, I'm sorry. And then reject it. And I found that that was very amazing. That was the title of the reading. If you are new here, all right, the way I read, uh, the way energy is, it flows. Every sign influences the next one, okay? So I will refer back to different readings because that's just how I read. That's how energy is, all right? So somebody's definitely feeling regret. Uh, I've been, you know, shuffling my own cards. I read a lot and I keep getting like the coffin card. I keep getting four of swords. I keep getting four of pentacles here. Um, and for me, this four of swords, I look at it, I have a different perspective, but I feel like that is the energy of this person. They have a different perspective. The four of swords to me at this time means mourning. Depends on what deck you're using, but the ones that I've been using and with oracles combined, I keep getting the coffin card. And then the four of swords will come out and they look very similar. It's like someone laying down, um, literally like they're in that very coffin. I'm getting in the uh, 
kipper deck and to me there's a woman next to the person on the, in the four of swords someone's mourning okay it's a funeral somebody's definitely feeling scorpionic energy they are feeling you oh they're feeling you deeply profoundly uh so much so i feel like it's kind of attacking their body all right this could also just be an energy where this is someone who has been holding on to emotions they do not let them out whatever they don't express themselves they don't even know keep getting aquarius energy also um so someone is not able or they don't know who they are okay they don't know who they are so they've been suppressing a lot of energy i'm also hearing lilith at this time as well <sighs> we're five minutes in and i'm just i'm just doing downloads right now so i uh i don't know you may be picking up on their energy as well, but uh, you ain't shit, Scorpio, because the fact that <laughs> I still ain't pulled these damn cards lets me know. I don't feel like you're in a rush to speak. Scorpio, man, listen. <laughs> Pisces energy, you be knowing. Okay, you already know what's going on. What's going on? Yeah. Do, do, boo, 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 boo. So those five minutes that it took me to channel real quick was not in vain. All right, this fly is here. So it's giving Paige a swords energy. Somebody is definitely, definitely, um, I don't know, watching you. Could be videos, could be pictures, could be social media, uh, thinking about you spinning a block on you it's this is all intuition here okay hence is why i felt like i needed to get these downloads out because this is some straight up high priestess high priest energy you guys are in at this time damn this is next level oh this is next level and c c come here you see these butterflies right here yeah that's you right there that's that transformation there mm -hmm. them butterflies that's scorpio energy yeah and then you see the, the moon right here Somebody's definitely in that Cancerian energy that I was feeling, I was picking up on there. Betty, Betty, interesting. Somebody is also uh, sleepless, restless, sleepless. <laughs> I meant to say restless here. This is for you, Scorpio. You got High Priestess energy coming out, so you're picking up on the vibes. All right, we have the Eight of Swords here in the reverse. All right, so this goes back to what I was saying in the beginning where you were feeling some type of way. Okay, and now somebody's in their head. This reversal only lets, it's only reversed because it's, to me, it's giving to a pentacles energy. The tables have turned. And if you saw some of my other readings, the tables literally turned, like the perspective. I, Leo had cross watcher energy, like something switched. Like I could feel that I was picking up on someone else's perspective at that point. Like it was crazy how I was picking up on it, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like this eight of swords is really upright, but this is indicating what is going on for this person, your person, the person, it, okay? <laughs> it yeah we have temperance and here we are back at you back to you high priestess with the temperance that is you and this eight of swords is them you can't tell me nothing different i'm already knowing i'm already knowing i'm already knowing yeah look for a pentacles energy i keep holding on holding 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 ah, yeah this justice is metro b -b -b banging in this bitty goddamn city here. Yeah. Order in the court. We have nine of pentacles. I'm sorry. Nine of cups at the bottom of the motherfucking deck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going a little dramatic here. So uh, Leo, cross watchers are welcome. They did you dirty as fuck as hell. That's what I titled it. So I'm getting Leo, Pisces, Cancer. So that means where's Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius energy up in this bitty goddamn city. Oh, wow. Virgo also had, um, expect them to get defensive when you tell the truth. So somebody's defenses are being broken down, Pluto style. Damn. Damn, Scorpio. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm not sorry. Okay, I'm not sorry. We're nine minutes in and we're just tapping in here. This is Scorpio energy. We dig deep. We go deep. You don't just dive in. You don't. No, 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 no. We dig. We dig deep. Okay, and Scorpio energy. This ain't Pisces all the way. 
Pisces, you're going to dive in. We dig in here, all right? It's levels. Oh, it's levels here. You have major arcanas in your energy, Scorpio, okay? Uh, high level energy, high priestess with the temperance. The, the, I mean, and, and the justice card, they have angels. They, they got wings. All of them. All of them. And butterflies. Look at that. Look at that. Let me put this back. Let me put some respect. Let's put some respect. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. Justice has uh, prevailed. Okay. You have someone on their knees. Period. They're in this Eight of Swords energy. All right. They're definitely in this Eight of Swords energy. <sighs> speaking of digging. It's interesting. I speak, speaking of digging and like, usually you dig for the treasure. But for you, Scorpio, it's it's already, it's, it's, uh, what other people deem as deep, it's just, it's at the surface for you. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. All right. Yeah. Somebody's definitely holding on to you. Uh, they see you. They feel you as nine of cups energy. They're everything. Okay. Fuck the wish fulfillment. <laughs> no. Uh, you are their everything. Okay. And that's what they're holding on to. I want to tap into this uh, Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, we have the King of Cups, Capricorn energy, and here's Aquarius energy in the reverse. Uh, the, the prayers, the hoping, and the wishing, and, and, and the restoration. I don't think that that's happening here for you. Somebody is learning today, okay? Oh, they are. It's over. It's over. And that's why you have them on their knees. Libra energy, that was the title of the reading. What is the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, King of Swords energy, Aquarius is strong. I told y'all, I told you, but I didn't need to need. I don't even need to tell y'all because y'all already know. Y'all already know. I have eighth house placements and I got Pluto and Scorpio first house. We know. We here with it. Oh, I got Scorpio placements too. We are here with it here. I know you see it. I know you see it. King of Swords in the reverse. All right, so this is definitely someone here. That they lost their damn mind. Okay, again, this reversals is this person. So you see it. You see how it's looking your direction? This is their perspective. This is them. All right, could be dealing with Aquarius, someone who's very intelligent, very smart. Um, maybe a people person, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, but someone here is, uh, they have lost their mind. The King of Swords is never in the Eight of Swords, period. Never. Ever, 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 ever. They're too smart for that, right? But it's reversed. Both of the intellectual energy is reversed. Somebody's losing their shit. Well, I'm, yeah, look, we also have the Five of Swords here. We also have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is you not talking to them, not speaking to them, not communicating with them, whatever it is. And then we have their Five of Swords here. To me, it really feels like return to sender energy. It really feels like some Saturn energy here, okay? I told y'all. I told y'all. Saturn definitely will bring hardship to you, um, but it's only because you're not learning your Jupiter lesson, okay? Jupiter really is the lesson, okay? Saturn is the consequences for not learning your lessons. A lot of people have this, mis they have it misconstrued, but I'm not here to teach at the, at the moment, all right? Uh, but we have someone here, this person is in Five of Swords energy, how did you go from king of swords, the king, you become a king because you have mastered everything that there is to know about the mind, about communication, uh, about whatever it is. Okay. Just think of it. You do not become a CEO. You do not become a manager unless you have mastered your craft here. Look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what king and or queen energy is. They have mastered the craft. This is someone who claims or felt like they have mastered the craft. They have manipulated enough people. Um, and uh, again, you have the power to put, bring someone to their knees, bring someone on the, you, you're putting them on their back, man or woman. How you do that there? How did you do that? Somebody's finding one out today. Your energy is very silent but very deadly 
Mm -hmm. People love to mess with the silent ones. Love, 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 love to underestimate the silent ones here. It's like an energy of you knowing. High priestess energy. Somebody's doing you wrong. Oh, you know. You can feel it. You know it. You know somebody's doing you wrong. Okay? Uh, but you lay low. You lay low. You lay low. And then out of nowhere, somebody, yeah, high priestess is coming out again twice. <laughs> for there to be so much spiritual energy here lets me know that not only this was a spiritual lesson for you some of you may have jupiter and scorpio or in the eighth house okay <sighs> but it's out of your hands at this time okay not only you or you being tested not only did you have an assignment this person but so did someone else. I don't know. Yeah, I always get like this with Pisces energy. I never know what to say. It's, it's, these are, I mean, any water in element. I have water placements my damn self. It's, this is just not something you speak on. This is definitely going on psychologically, emotionally, okay, mentally. This is energy that is hidden on up in there. This Four of Pentacles is coming out because you've um, unalived someone or you unearthed. Yeah, you unearthed someone's issues. Somebody had issues the last time I came through. I think it was Leo. Yep, look, Leo, they met the right one. This person has issues. That was the last love message I did for the sign of Leo or just someone who has Leo placements, fifth house placements. Um... And here we are. They could be an Aquarius, but they have Leo placements. Whatever it is, uh, you are the right one. They got the right one. Oh, they did. You laid low. You let somebody. You let somebody do their dumb shit. You let them play you. So they thought. <laughs> they try to finesse the finesse of here. Damn, Scorpio. <laughs> For some of you, this may have been an on and off situation. Okay, and now it's off, and it's permanently off, and it's this is really fucking someone up. Like. This is almost like someone thinking that they about to go back in and play games and then come to find out. It's like somebody was uh, testing their luck. Sagittarius energy could even be Gemini. Gemini, uh, yeah, this mf -er is stubborn and hard-headed as fuck. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's get some more. Let's dig some more. Let's get some more treasures. <laughs> Hangman in the reverse, damn. So this person thought that they were King of Swords energy. I'm hearing the word methodical. They just, it's a, it's they, it's like they, they felt like they had people, like they were manipulating people, you included. Somebody really thought you were dumb here. Amazing, but you know. <laughs> There's just certain signs you don't play with. And I'm not just saying that. I'm, I'm so serious. Like, you don't play with Scorpio energy or Eighth House. You just don't do that there. You really don't want to do that. It's life or death. For real. Somebody was unaware of how aware you are. Sheesh. Yeah. Empress. <laughs> ah. Shabba da ba da. Libra energy. Taurus, I'm going to throw you in a circle too. They were resistant and now they regret not being persistent. It's a whole lot of regret out here in these streets. Damn. Damn. Libra energy. And are we surprised? I don't care if you're a man or a woman watching this. You have Empress or Emperor energy. And on top of that, you have angels. High spiritual energy, beings, whatever, okay? God. You have ancestors surrounding you. Houston, you are surrounded. They're surrounded. You are surrounded, and they wanted to do this to you. I'm trying to tell y'all something here. They got the right one. <laughs> and it's about to be the wrong day every damn day. Every damn day. Damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Look, bottom of the deck, six of wands reverse. Damn. <laughs> Order in the court. Order in the court, y'all. Let's get into this justice energy. 
Let's get into it. We got the Three of Wands reverse. Damn. Mm. Will of Fortune reverse. Sheesh. See, we tried to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. The Three of Wands came out reverse. I wanted to clarify justice, and I put the Three of Wands back. And what came out next? Worse. The Will of Fortune, Sagittarius energy in the reverse. And I know you see Anubis here. I, oh, 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 oh. I know you see Anubis here. Anubis comes through with the come through to judge um efforts, okay? They getting judged on the scale, on the Libra scale. I'm telling you, this is a very spiritual energy. And this morning, I was rushing. I had to leave. Oh, you hear the ambulances? Damn. And my Isis deck fell on the on the ground. I said, oh. Isis wants to communicate. Look at this. We have the uh, Knight of Cups here with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands coming through with the come through. This is Judge Judy. I literally heard like, oh my gosh, I have spoken. All right, the Eight of Wands to me is messenger energy. Okay, this is energy coming through fast. Uh, it's also communication. Okay, this Eight of Wands is connected to Sagittarius energy. Uh, Sagittarius is connected to Jupiter. Jupiter is a very spiritual planet religious planet take it as you may uh but jupiter is the planet um of the gods mercury that rules gemini and virgo is the messenger of those gods and i already come i already told y'all gemini this mf -er is stubborn and hard-headed as af that was in gemini's energy that was the message that message was coming from Jupiter, Sagittarius energy here. We haven't gotten to Sagittarius. It's next. Sagittarius energy is also that rebirth. So you are death. Sagittarius is rebirth. But it looks like someone is not getting that energy. So let me speak in English. All right, excuse me. In English, this person is not going to be passing go. They're not going to be collecting their $200, okay? Um, you know, this is definitely someone who, like I said, justice back to Libra, only you have the power to make this person bow down. And so this is them. This is them. You hear that? Y'all hear that? Some of y'all may be synchron seeing synchronicities like 911 or 9191. But this Nine of Cups is the bowing down energy here. That is the apology. That is the offer. Um, I'm also hearing confessions. I'm seeing the Hermit here as well. Virgo energy with the Magician in the reverse. Uh, yeah. Virgo's back to expect uh, them to get defensive when you tell the truth. All right. When yeah, you're telling the truth with this Queen of Swords energy, you have told them some type of truth. Honestly, this type of energy feels like some twin flame soulmate type of connection. All right, that's why it's so um to me it's severe. All right, someone in the comments literally was just like, "Oh my god, you're so dramatic." La 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 la. la. Yeah, well, uh this energy here <laughs> I'm definitely picking up on uh, Twin Flame Soulmate Connections this week, okay? It was all fun and games last week, but this week is, is none of that here. Yeah, we have the star coming out. So somebody is realizing, I'm telling you, someone knows, all right, um, that you're different. <laughs> this connection was different. Um, you, your energy is different, okay? Your soul contract's different, okay? Just who you are is different. You have the star, Temperance, Justice, and the High Priestess, twice, Empress Energy, Queen of Swords coming out. This is all you. This is all you. And somebody played you. This Eight of Swords is also jail-like energy, okay? Um, especially with that Magician trying to come out. This could even be someone who feels like you put a spell on them. Um, that's how deep it is. Okay. This is someone who isn't spiritual whatsoever, but for some reason, yep, the truth is coming out. 
you're the one with the keys. They 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 may not even be spiritual, okay? And hence is why they weren't listening to the messages. They weren't listening to you. They weren't taking heed to the connection. Of course they weren't spiritual, but you are. This Ace of Swords is the truth. That very truth that the devil be in them details, right? Virgo energy is the, the detail holder, okay? The, the gate holder. Virgo, back to Virgo. Uh, expect them to get defensive when you tell the truth. Here is the truth with the Ace of Swords. The truth shall set you free. Eight of Swords energy. You are locked up in this Eight of Swords energy. You're the one with the key here. Surprise, the Hierophant card didn't come out. You're the one with the key here. And you didn't come, you didn't, you didn't come to bring peace. You come in with a sword of truth, of light. Order on the court. This is one of them vibes, bringing it back down to English, bringing it back down to the 3D. This is I told you so energy. Now I'm hearing kids screaming. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep, full card. This fool is on the journey, eight of wands energy. I don't even know what to say at this point. I feel like this is you for real. This is you guys, I don't know. How else to explain it? All I know is that you understood the assignment. Some of you guys may have gotten hurt. You got beat up. Okay, Scorpio, you're always going to deal with trauma. Okay, triggers, BS, pain. You're always going to deal with that, even if you have eighth house placements. All right, but you guys are the ones who got through it. You guys are the ones who are heading into that rebirth here. To Like, this is honestly, like, you understood the assignment type of vibe. You know, we always hear that people come into your, our lives to teach us something. A lot of people don't learn those lessons. You came into this person's life to teach them something. They came into your life to teach you something, but you're the only one that learned the lesson. You're the only one that learned the lesson. And as far as I'm concerned, you are the only one that's coming out unscathed. What's high priestess? Some of you may have, um, damn, it's seven retrograde planets right now. Chiron, I think Neptune, the North Node. I think Mercury's still hanging on up in there. We have Saturn retrograded as well. Uh, I'm probably missing, I think Pluto was retrograded. It's a lot of retrograded planets right now. So coming from someone who, it, I was born during, more than seven retrograde planets. I know about reflection and learning lessons and having to do things over and over and over again. Some of you, I feel like this was like the last one. We have the four of pentacles here again. Yeah, look, I knew it. Lovers. Three of cups is here and the four of pentacles. I told you somebody's holding on. Oh, they're holding on. And like I told y'all, this is definitely a high level relationship, connection, twin flame, dynamic, soulmate. I, I knew it. And the reason it took so long for it to come out, you already knew it, i.e. the High Priestess came, card came out first and I was already picking up on downloads in the beginning. But now this person is uh, knowing. Now they're coming to this fucking truth here. And now they want to come on the journey. Now they want to be with you here. Now they want to apologize. Now they want to do right. Like, you were healing this person. It's interesting. I think I did a, uh, I forget whose message it was. But I was saying something along, I think it was for Sagittarius. But I was saying something along the lines of, like, you were giving this person, like, Aquafina water. Meanwhile, it's like they they were just drying you on up. Like, you were just dying to start, like, of a, a dehydration. And it's like they won't even give you well water. Meanwhile, you're giving them the purest water, the purest love, in other words, right? And they're sitting there tainting it. It's like, this is one of them vibes. You had so much to give. You know why this is giving me Taurus energy? Some of you may have your Jupiter in Taurus. You may have, yeah, I just heard a car honk. Some of you may have Jupiter in Taurus, or you may have it in the second house. You may have Jupiter in Scorpio, or in the eighth house, or Pisces, or in the twelfth house. Um, 
Libra or in the first house, you were someone's treasures. Yeah. Yeah, you were. You were, what is the high priestess? I just, you know, here's the emperor. But I don't know if that came out reversed or not. <laughs> but we do have the empress and the emperor here. And the lovers. All this angelic energy. High level frequencies. This was supposed to be like a rare kind of connection. Everybody thinks they have love. Unconditional love and la 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 la. Um, we... Uh, we have destiny, fate here, but it's in a reverse here. It's like someone forfeited. How do you do that? Yep, unconditional love, ace of cups energy. Like I said, you was giving them that. You was offering that aquafina water. That unconditional loving. Back to cancer. They prayed and crave unconditional love. They've received it, i.e. you. They've received you and rejected it. Why? Because it was too intense. Oh, Insert the basic Scorpio understandings. Oh, so magnetic and so intense, so exciting, so exciting. Back to Cancer, I already said it. I'm, it's like I'm calling out things that I already done new. You guys already done new here. And look at this, they missed out. Five of Pentacles is here. Your soul, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Let your soul glow coming to america vibes here you had someone's soul glowing how could you not you were their food you were their soul food you are is that the king of cups yeah it is as i'm talking about soul food and the moon appears how much you want bet i did see the ten of pentacles and i put it back how much you want bet that's the reason why this this person shows money materialistic things appearances uh ego status uh other people the ways of the world over this here connection amazing we have the justice card here and would you look at that king of cups in the reverse that's the justice for them there and there's a train coming through with the come through uh i hope you guys understood what i was saying i'm pretty sure you guys did all right like i was speaking in parables but if you know you know this was just definitely not one of them like oh basic connections like oh they messed up girl mm -hmm. yeah they lost out they missed out boy yeah, yeah they're lost or no it was not it was this was not that type of reading now i will try to bring it down to the 3d i had to get this energy yeah they're in silent competition with you here to me, this is more about domination. I won't necessarily say someone's competing with you, this person. I think this was more so about, um, I guess so. Maybe this, yeah, silent, interesting. Maybe so, but I think it's more of a domination uh, type of thing. Especially if I go back to Aries, uh, you're, you know, you're ruled by Mars as well. Aries was dealing with I've loved and I've lost. So this is someone who thought that love, okay, was a competition. Uh, this is someone who felt like uh, this kind of one of them vibes of like who can not give the fuck, not give a fuck more, who cannot love more, you know, who cannot show emotion more. Like it's one of them energies. Like somebody, well, you know, you're coming in to love them and they got to prove how strong they are. Emperor energy. They got to prove how strong and immune they are to love or this connection rather. This is someone. They weren't competing against you. They were really competing against themselves and they, they doubled down. This is someone who had to prove to you and anybody else that they will never fall for love. Um, they will never fall for the okie doke. They're too smart and too intelligent, uh, too structured, too methodical. Um, you know, this is somebody who is so smart, they're dumb. Damn. Wow. It's like you, you, we've all been played by somebody before, right? We've all been hurt. La, 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 la. But real recognize real. Ace of Swords energy. 
So this is also revealing how fake someone is. That's probably why I was picking up on Aquarius energy in the beginning. You know, Aquarius is all about being authentic. And then I mentioned Leo. Leo is all about, you know, putting on a mask. And in Leo's reading, I was going in. I was like, this person is the problem. Oh, like they are truly the problem. And it's like someone's realizing that they are the problem and always have been the problem. But they were so busy trying to make you the problem. Creating shit in their mind, Eight of Swords energy, that you are the problem. That's what this is. Somebody was creating their own shit and holding on to it. Oh, they were holding on to it. They were confusing their damn selves. Meanwhile, they thought they was confusing you. Amazing. Somebody's mad you got options. So they figure, okay, you're the Empress or the Emperor. You're looking good. Everybody, you're a prize. You're a catch. You're a trophy. You are, okay? Whatever Jupiter placement, you are the prize, period. They wanted to hurt you. They thought that they were stronger than this here. Amazing. They ended up taking themselves out here. They ended up taking an L. Yep, look, they play dummy games and live a dummy life. I'm Listen. Listen here, Linda. Somebody played themselves thinking that they were playing you. Something about the Bible. There's a scripture in there that, you know, I think God said something. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a bring an illusion. Yeah, they believe their own illusions here. Or God put up an illusion. Some of y'all, again, yeah, Pisces energy. Some of y'all may have had an illusion over you. And somebody real recognize real. It, somebody who is real is going to be able to see through that illusion. <laughs> I.e., okay, let me put it in some of y'all y'all terms. Rich people, wealthy people, they go in, in disguise. They dress up as homeless people. Are you going to see them? Are you going to see who is really behind the mask? Oh, no. That looked like a homeless person, but really, that is X, Y, and Z. Somebody couldn't see through the illusion that was casted over you here. But that illusion is also Neptune energy. Neptune is otherworldly. So you are that. Hence is why we have angels coming out. And hence is why the judgment is in your, it's your decision here. Justice with the Ace of Swords. You are this person's karma. Yeah, they have to stay mad. It looks like y'all already, um... <laughs> It looks like, yeah, you're not accepting breadcrumbs anymore. I'm seeing they're mad. They're going to have to stay mad here. So it sounds like some of y'all, like I said in the beginning, y'all really caught, like, y'all is, this is dead. You're moving in silence. Scorpio energy. They are mad. You're moving in silence here. They're mad. They have to stay mad. They're also mad that they, uh, you don't have to ask for permission. It's one of them energies with you don't have to ask permission. It's like, Something about time, but I'm hearing like you're not on their time. You were never on their time, and they thought that you were on their time. I and that's why they thought that they were in control here. This is somebody who thought that they could slow up time, destiny, will of fortune energy. Um, amazing. Like this is somebody who this is <sighs> slow down. So this is someone thinking that you were on their time. And you never were. This is someone thinking that the teacher said, you know, the assignment was due today and they thought they had pool. They thought they had power and clout that they could turn it in when they wanted to. And thinking that it was going to be okay. This is one of them type of energy. I know some of y'all in school, y'all wait to the last minute to get an assignment in or you go to summer school and try to make up like uh, you got to make it up or, you know, you try to do extra, you know, extra credit work to try to get them scores up at the very last minute. Ain't no extra credit here. Time is up. Meanwhile, someone thought that shit was on their time. Now they're mad that you changed your number. You just changed all the way up. Scorpio energy ain't nothing new to it. All right, you ain't new to this. You are true to this. And this is why someone is mad. I told y'all in the beginning, somebody is mad and sad. Oh, they are mad and sad right here. They sure are. This, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, now they're mad. They're broke, busted, and disgusted. Mm -hmm. You won't go 50-50 with them. So I don't know if this is going to be, um, you know, you know death by broke busted and disgust i don't know 
or this is that five of pentacles this is just someone who is definitely feeling alone feeling lack. it's like everything that they may have ha they may have or they chose over you they're losing it and or they may acquire it in abundance and still feel lonely um still feel uh void uh still feel you know whatever it's a lot of people who off themselves uh, and they had they had the world at their feet their 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 um at their feet none of that shit matters here and that's what i'm getting it's like one of them vibes here somebody is definitely feeling your loss they are mourning you um and it, whatever it is that they have they may receive more in abundance but i promise you the more that they receive the more unhappy they are the more unhappy they are yep look they finesse themselves seven of swords energy uh will of fortune here reversed again uh they finesse themselves out of uh you you truly are their nine of cups this is soul food here this is you are what they need and now they're realizing that you are what they want because they need you this is nothing a need you can't go without a need it's a necessity so i had to do this reading here all right to get this energy up off me because i could i could just feel it it was a uh, what is the word emanating off of me i had to get it out um but scorpio eighth house placements or just this is what's going on in the relationship the death of it all okay the ending of it all justice is on your side here you turned in your assignment um you showed up and that's why they're mad because you showed up you showed up every time that they rejected you lied to you betrayed you chose other people over you try to manipulate you confuse you play you uh abandon you you still continue to show up over and over and over and over again but the time is up and that's why they're mad 